Hello and welcome to our Bible study of First Kings and we are in chapter 5 today. Chapter 5 does look like quite a short one but um, there are some long ones coming up to make up for it. <laughs> so let's get started. And Haring, king of Tyre, sent his servants unto Solomon for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father for Hiram was ever a lover of David. And Solomon sent to Hiram saying, Thou knowest how that David my father could not build a house unto the name of the Lord his God for the wars which were about him on every side mm -hmm. until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. And behold, I purpose to build a house unto the name of the Lord my God as the Lord spake unto David my father, saying, Thy son, whom I will set upon my throne, upon thy throne in thy room, he shall build a house unto my name. So he appreciated that David was just, David did a lot of the legwork with getting all of Israel, because he had wars all over the place. David was always fighting. David was always having to fight. But Solomon acknowledges that he has peace, he has, has rest on every side. So he knows now he can put his effort into building the temple. So he can put his effort into the temple. Now he knew David wanted to build a permanent temple for the Lord. Obviously it was a tent for a long time. But he was told not to back in 2 Samuel. And that's because God wanted Solomon to be the one to do this. And so he received a message from King Hiram, which was just north of Israel. And so he was able to get the ball rolling on building a temple. Now therefore command thou that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with thy servants, and unto thee will I give hire for thy servants according to all that thou shalt appoint. For thou knowest that there is not among us that can skill to hew timber like unto the Sidonians. And it came to pass, when Hiram heard the words of Solomon, that he rejoiced greatly, and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, which hath given unto David a wise son over this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered all things which thou sentest to me for, and I will do thy desire concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fat. My servants shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that thou shalt appoint me, and will cause them to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. So it worked out well because um, the people of uh, Tyre, who are called the uh, Phoenicians, they were really well known for their building work and the trees, the cedar trees in Lebanon. So Solomon offered to pay him to provide the timber, and Hiram, who was a friend of David, as we learnt earlier, was ever a lover of David, this is like his, his good friend. He um, blessed the Lord and praised Solomon for his wisdom, as we saw back here. Blessed be the Lord this day, which is given unto David a wise son. So David's friend, David's old friend, blessed the Lord and praised Solomon. to start building the temple. So Hiram gave Solomon cedar trees and fir trees according to all his desire. And Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 measures of wheat for food to his household and 20 measures of pure oil. Thus gave Solomon to Hiram year by year. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom, as he promised him, 
and there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and they too made a league together. So, um, Solomon was provided with all the timber he wanted, and in return, he gave them uh, wheat and oil to feed his own household. And it did, he did so year after year. So they kind of, a bit of bartering here. <laughs> we can say exchanging, bartering timber for food and oil. And that's a nice equal exchange because he wasn't treating him as an inferior saying, okay, you give me this and I'll give you, and I'm just gonna pay you. It's an equal transaction. So you help me, I'll help you. So he was able to maintain their good relationship, ensuring peace between both nations. So, um, equal exchange again, this is Solomon's wisdom, um, enabled a cordial relationship between the two nations. And King Solomon raised a levy out of all Israel, and the levy was 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month by courses. A month they were in Lebanon, and two months at home. And Adoranim Adon, Adoniram was over the levy. And Solomon had threescore and 10,000 that bear burdens, and fourscore thousand hewers in the mountains. Beside the chief of Solomon's officers, which were over the work, 3,300 which ruled over the people that wrought in the work. And the king commanded, and they brought great stones, costly stones, and huge stones to lay the foundation of the house. And Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders did hew them, and the stone quarters, so they prepared timber and stones to build the house. So in order to build this temple, as you can see here, we needed tens and thousands, tens of thousands people. So he drafted a lot of labourers that went one month at a time and then two months home. So um, yeah, so one month they were in Lebanon, two months at home. Again his wisdom, so they didn't tire out. Wisdom. I'm just put wisdom ratio, I think I know what I mean there. So it's like one to two, so one month work, two months off. I mean, yes, if all our leaders did that, <laughs> I think people would be much more productive if they had that wisdom to give people a bit more rest. I think they'd work a bit a bit better, wouldn't you? Anyway, so the building project needed a lot of timber but also needed a lot of stone. Um, they had great stones. Um, the, the size of this temple project, even in today's time, sounds like it is absolutely overwhelming size of the project it was incredible tens of thousands of workers oh and I also make a note here about his equal exchange being great wisdom so he demonstrated wisdom in so many areas all the time. He was just doing um, the wise thing. <laughs> Whether he'll continue, well, we'll see, we'll see. But for now, he's on the right track and God continued to give him wisdom. I read that earlier and I wanted to make a point of it and it just fell out of my head, but it just came back to me. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. The Lord gives on more wisdom. So it's like he continued to provide for him. He continued to provide that wisdom. It was never really Solomon. Just like it's never really us. Whenever we do something and we're praised for it, for example, it's not really us. It's the Lord blessing us. So it's good to remember, you know, glory be to God always. Um, so if you're talented or skilled at something it's from God God is giving us everything that's good so um, be sure to say thank you to him today for all your blessings and continue to 
follow in his steps and he'll continue to provide. That's what he said in one of the previous chapters. Um, I don't remember exactly which, it would have just been on two or three, <laughs> uh, where he said, I'll give you wisdom if you continue to follow my footsteps. You continue doing what you're meant to be doing and I'll continue to bless you. So that's something that we can remember too. Ah, another good one. I really do enjoy these Bible studies. It's just, there's always a message to take away. There's always wisdom, there's always blessings. So, yeah. All right, six is another little medium size one, I would say. And then next week, we're gonna go into um, the longer chapters. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have your own takeaways, as always, please do share. Um, I don't ever ask for you to subscribe and like comments, that's such a YouTube thing to do, I'm not, I don't really feel like I'm a YouTuber, so that feels uncomfortable for me, but yeah, if you want to, follow along for the journey, you can do, and I appreciate any support that you offer, but remember, the glory is all the fathers, so thank you for joining me, and I hope that this blesses you in some way, as it is blessing me. Um, anyways, I'll speak to you tomorrow, have a lovely day, bye!